it's not about O's and X's or rebounds or turnovers or anything like that. I think uh, I, I think we've maybe felt it too much, Kawhi being gone, in, in the sense that I don't think, as I watched, I don't think they believed. And you, you have to believe. Uh, and I don't think, as a group, they really did, which means probably a little bit feeling sorry for themselves, you know, psychologically, subconsciously, whatever psychobabble word you want to use. But that's the way I process it. I, I don't think they started the game with the belief. And it showed in the, you know, the lack of edge, intensity, grunt, you know, all that sort of thing. Uh, and that was disappointing. But when you're playing a team that's as good as Golden State, uh, you're going to get embarrassed if that's the way you come out. And we did. So I think that's the deal more than anything. We'll put it away, go get a meal, and, you know, game three, I expect to see a different team. Pop. Ramona Shelburne, ESPN. When you talk about belief, does that come from leadership? Is that is that on any one guy, or is that just a collective belief? Yeah, it looked, it looked pretty collective to me. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think it was one guy who didn't believe and he infected everybody else or anything like that. I think as a group, uh, they just let themselves down. So, uh, you know, we talked about it during the game, halftime, after the game, because I, th I think, you know, the truth always, quote, unquote, sets you free. And... You can't sugarcoat it or say, if we would have just made a couple shots, we'd have been right there. That's pretty lame. So call it like it is, and we, we didn't come to play. We felt sorry for ourselves. We need to get slapped and come back and play game three and see who we are. That's what I'm anxious for. Uh, Jabari Young, San Antonio Express News coach. Uh, you, I know collectively you said they didn't believe, but – did you get something uh, out of Simmons? I, I saw you embraced him on one of those substitutions. Kind yeah, of. you know, John was, yeah, I don't know if the only, but one of the very few uh, who came to play. He came to play. I thought John was great. Uh, at both ends of the floor, he was intense, and he, he played the win for sure. Was it immediately from the start that you saw this, or did it take a couple of oh, minutes for you to slice and hairs? Geez, was it from the start? Okay. No, it was at one minute and thirty-seven seconds is when we figured that out. Okay, thank you. Or, or maybe it was three minutes. Three minutes in, then we realized. Okay, come on, Pop. I don't know how one way those sugar coat, not sugar coated conversations are. Do you get anything back in the post game locker room, or does that those conversations happen more on the next day? Uh, no, I, I just say it once. You know, I don't sugarcoat too much. And uh, they're character guys. They know that I'm going to tell them. I never blow smoke at them. I never try to play a game with them and trick them into thinking this or that. I just tell them what the deal is. And they respond because they've got character. And they know I'm telling them the truth. There's no reason why I would do anything different. You know, whether it's flattering to them or uh, embarrassing to them, I'm, I'm going to say it. Did you hear anything back from them, though? That was no, nobody spoke. I don't, I don't need to hear back from them. They, they process it. They're smart people.